When the Grass GUI program starts, you are presented with two separate windows. <clears throat> the Layer Manager, which here is shown on the left, and the Map Display, which here is shown on the right. The Layer Manager is composed of the Menu Bar, here at the top, the Toolbars, shown here, and four tabs at the bottom, Map Layers, Command Console, Search Module, and Python Shell. And so let's discuss these items in detail appropriate for what you're going to use in this lab. First, the menu bar provides access to all of GRASS's functions. In this lab, we will use the File, Settings, Raster, and Imagery menus. The toolbars provide convenient access to commonly used GRASS functions. We will not use any of these buttons for this lab, but instead we'll opt to use the menu bar. The Map Layers tab, down here at the bottom, manages the draw order and visibility of map layers. We will use this to access information about loaded map layers. The Command Console tab displays the output of commands that are run. Also allows the user to type in commands to execute. We will review output of command runs in this tab throughout the lab. The Search Module tab is similar to the GRASS Tools module tree. Uh, and the GRASS tools that we can find in QGIS is what we're referring to here. And so the Search Module um, tab provides a hierarchical listing of all GRASS functions for logical browsing. You can find modules by description, keyword, or command by using the filter box seen here. We will not use this tab in this lab, however. Lastly is the Python Shell tab. This provides access to the Python interpreter for sending commands. We will not use this tab in this lab. Now let's take a look at the uh, map display. It is composed of the toolbar up here at the top, and this provides access to the map display functions. This is roughly analogous to the QGIS map canvas controls. We'll use this toolbar to explore map layers loaded in the map layers tab of the layer manager window. So I'm referring to this tab over here in the layer manager. Back in the map display, we have the information bar down here at the bottom. It displays a multitude of information depending on which option is selected in the drop-down box here. Map rendering can be enabled or disabled in this bar by checking or unchecking this box. The layer manager is the core part of the GRASS GUI, as it provides access to all of GRASS's functionality. During this lab, we will access quite a few menu items from the layer manager to set up our analysis environment and then view the results in the map display for interpretation and interaction. One last note about GRASS's modules. A GRASS module, which I'll refer to as a module tool or function throughout the labs, can be thought of as a small supporting program that can be executed to perform useful actions. Examples of such, a such actions are importing raster maps, rectifying images, creating composites, and performing a cluster analysis. As we select modules to run, you will notice that the module names are preceded by a single layer letter and a dot, so for example r.composite. The single letter and dot represent which category of action the module belongs to. So let's talk about, uh, let me you know, talk about a listing of categories and actions and their associated single letters that will be used in this lab. Other categories do exist, but we'll not access them in this lab. So first is G. G represents general functions such as file management, map set management, and projection management. These functions are primarily found in the menu bar under File. And so you can see here, oh, I'm sorry, I of course chose one of the ones that doesn't select it. Let me just do here. So you can see we have g.copy, g.list, and so on. It can also be found under Settings. So here you see the G's. And it can also be found under Help. So g.manual, for instance. Next is R. R is raster related functions such as importing rasters, train analysis, color management, and interpolation to name a few. These functions are primarily found in the menu bar under raster. So here we can see all of the R dots. Next is V. V represents vector related functions such as importing vectors, topology, maintenance, feature queries, and attribute management. These functions are primarily found in the menu bar under Vector. So you can see the V's here. And lastly is I. 
I references imagery related functions such as classification, image grouping, transformations, and filtering. These functions are found in the menu bar under imagery. So you can see the eyes here.